you've been watching our videos, then you will probably know that one of our favourite foods is curry, and one of our favourite places to go to is Mai Thai in Parmanova. So I'm going to make my curry now, and this is a Thai curry, and it's from one of some of our favourite chefs on the television, the Hairy Bikers. This is actually the Hairy Dieters book, and this is their recipe for very easy Thai chicken and coconut curry. We've done it several times, it is really easy to do, and it's delicious, isn't it? Absolutely. So, the ingredients we need, I'm just going to read them off, are some sunflower oil, chicken, boneless chicken, breasts, I use this, this fillet de contre de pollo here is lovely. Then peppers, I put lots of peppers in there because we like peppers. Um, a can of coconut milk, which we have there, some water, which is in the tap. This curry paste here I get from Nice Price. This is the red curry paste I use here. Lime leaves. I've just been and picked these from our lime tree. I'm not sure if they're kaffir limes, but it doesn't matter. Fish, uh, fish sauce there, castor sugar. Mange too, we couldn't get today. Carrefour were very naughty, they didn't have any. So we're going to use green beans instead. But mange too are really nice in it. It's a shame we haven't got any of those. Some coriander, and that's it. So there's all our ingredients. Oh, and there's the rice. We're going to have it with some rice as well. So all the food now is ready for the Thai curry. And according to the recipe, the first thing you do is heat the oil. So I use sunflower oil. Got this nice wok here. That much. Two And you stir fry the chicken and peppers for one minute. I do it for a lot longer than that actually. Just heat that up a little bit. So all this lovely chicken's cut up. Add it to the oil. And we to stir fry this until it's nicely cooked. Bubble away a little bit, so just give it a little bit of movement. It's starting to go a little bit coloured. Looking nice, not quite done yet. Nearly done now. A few more little pieces to do. A bit of shape. Oh, it's like a little top. So chickens, just about cooked I would say now. I've got all these lovely peppers, basically red. All to go in. These lovely colours. All this healthy food. They don't need to be cooked for very long, it just says a minute, so I'll just leave those to cook a little bit. Now, and now we have had all the rest of the ingredients. First of all, we've got some coconut milk. And I always have problems opening these, so I'll use a knife. Stir. I'm just going to stir. It's a little bit thick, but it's okay. Pour it in. Sometimes we use low-fat coconut milk, but unfortunately this one isn't. It can do. Then we need the lime leaves. Let's stick those in. So three lime leaves. Curry pie paste. Well, 
this is a new one. It's a little bit messy to use this one is. And it says to put in two heat tea ta tablespoons. So just going to guess. And Steve will say that's not enough. So, I would say... It's probably about right, yeah. Is it? Oh, thank you. It looks disgusting, mine. It but. does. <laughs> but it does taste really nice. And then to put this away, i just fold it back together. It in there. And this gives it a nice colour as well. Changing colour now. Stick into a spoon as well. So we'll just leave that to cook in a bit. What else do we need? So four teaspoons. Don't really put too much of this one in because it is oyster actually. It's looking good now. It really is a delicious curry, this is. When we first did this, Steve was very astonished that there weren't any onions in it. But they're not. You see the curry sauce isn't it? The curry paste is nearly all dissolved. Now we need some sugar, caster sugar, one teaspoon. Looking good. Smelling good as well, isn't it? had many limes on our tree but maybe next next crop we will and I think that's it let's see this is ready now to be simmered for five minutes so we'll turn the heat down and Alexa Alexa stop Curry's been bubbling, bubbling away quite happily for quite a long time, doesn't matter. And now we're going to add what should be the mange too, but they're not mange too, just green beans. But they'll still be nice in it, just add a little bit of colour. And now we're just going to leave that to gently simmer while we do the rice. The rice has been in the microwave for 15 minutes, so let's... Let's see what it looks like. It's very hot. Wow, look at that. Perfect rice. So I'm just going to plate this up now. And this is sort of an in-between meal now. We're having it in between lunch and dinner. Because we've both had a busy day and we've got to go out again tonight. So I've got a concert and Steve's got a meeting. So that's leftover rice. Now we're going to have this delicious Thai curry. It does say in the recipe that it should have some corn flour in, but we, we like it quite runny. Beside the fact I'm going to add the rest of the rice to it in a minute. So I just hope it's not too spicy because I'm, I'm not particularly... Well, I do like the spicy thing, but not too spicy. It says, by the way, in the recipe, don't eat the lime leaves. So, there we are. Perry, Perry Biker's Thai curry. Oh yes, thank you. 
and we have the coriander so sprinkle a bit of coriander on we both like coriander so just to finish it off there we are thank you for watching